Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to today's class all on Mother's Day skin tips and just how we can look our best in general this Mother's Day, whether you are a mother and looking to put on a little extra pizzazz and a little extra effort into your appearance for the beautiful family events that you're going to be attending with your loved ones, with pictures and videos and all of that. And also, if you have a mother, some Mother's Day tips and tricks to help your dear mother feel their best. And mom, you know, I'm going to be taking great care of you this Mother's Day with some extra goodies. So stay tuned for the goodies at the end that you are going to love, including a promotion on some specific products. So imagine it is Mother's Day and... What category are you in? First of all, are you waking up? Are you cooking dinner for everybody and making a beautiful meal for everyone? Or are you getting treated out to a dinner? <laughs> this can kind of go either way. I hope that you are all getting treated to a lovely brunch or a lovely dinner. Maybe you're going out. Actually, I saw something really cute the other day. There was a multi-generational group of ladies and they all were wearing these cute little head fasteners. And we don't really see this very much in North America. We see this primarily in the UK at different types of racing events and get togethers and derbies and horse races and things like that. But it, this was so cute. There was the great granddaughter, the granddaughter, the mother, the grandmother. And you could tell that they were all in a group and they all had these matching head fasteners. It just looked so sweet and adorable. So if you're thinking about, okay, you're getting together with everyone, you're going out somewhere, how can you make it a little extra fun? Put a little cute head fastener on or a little headpiece. And it will also signify that you're also part of the party. I wasn't planning on talking about that, but I thought it was just a really sweet observation that I made of a multi-generational group of ladies, which I presumed were all part of the family. Now, the one thing about mothers is that oftentimes because of our very feminine nurturing qualities, we don't always take the time for ourselves. And this is something that I would actually love for you to program out of yourself because you are going to be a better caregiver the better you actually care for yourself. And yes, that does require putting a little extra time and energy into your own self-care. But when you put your oxygen mask on first, you're going to be a better caregiver for those around you. And don't be that, you know, wounded healer that we see so many doctors and nurses and healthcare providers go through. They go through burnout. This is going to age you faster. It's not going to make perimenopause, menopause, and menopause any easier. And for the gentlemen listening, do a little extra special something for the women in your life this Mother's Day. We all need each other, men and women, we need each other. Wendy says, what does a cute headband piece look like? A cute little head fastener or head adornment can include like a matching hat or a matching tiara or a bird cage style hat with typically sort of like a white meshing with say some type of adornment, whether that's a flower or a gem piece and you just sort of wear it. So with my hair here, I'm parted at the side, you'd wear it kind of right here. And it's not um, a, a piece that sort of overwhelms your look. It's just a little something. It kind of can extend over to the forehead a little bit and the side of the head, but it just looks a little extra special and fancy and glamorous. It's a little bit more of an old world look. So it is Mother's Day. You have this day dedicated for you. I warmly encourage you to start the day off right. If you have, say, your husband or your partner making you hot coffee or tea or hot water and lemon, 
enjoy that in bed with your favorite book. And actually, I have a new book to read. It's from Matthew Hussey, Love Life. I love Matthew Hussey's work. He's all about loving ourselves before we can really love others. Yes, that might have a bit of a selfish angle to it, but whatever book you're reading right now, take a little time for yourself. Spend 15 minutes reading your favorite book in bed, sipping on your favorite beverage, bonus points if you have coffee with a scoop of protein powder and Organifi collagen, which you all know I love to have in my AM coffee, and some hot water and lemon. Just enjoy something that's going to hydrate you, warm your belly, just feel a little extra luxurious. Take 10-15 minutes to have something yummy in bed that you're sipping on and read your favorite book could be Bible. You could journal as well. And then what I want you to do is get into the bathroom, put your favorite robe on, get into the bathroom. This is your time. Draw yourself a beautiful bath. Add maybe two scoops of Epsom salts, maybe a little borax, maybe a little aluminum free baking soda and soak in that for about 20 minutes. Add some essential oils. I really love the pineapple body oil that I have on my skin shop, put a little bit of that oil in the tub. If you don't have that, you could even use some avocado oil so that your bath is not only beautiful and warm and cozy, but it's also helping to detoxify you and putting some oil in the bath. It's going to be great for shaving your legs. And then you get out of the tub and you will, you want to rinse off, just have a quick, quick rinse off in the shower. And then you're actually going to be hydrated already head to toe. While you're in the bathtub, wash your face, do your face scrub, something that would be a little bit extra and special and a lovely treat for you on this special day would actually be to use the active peel kit system. And this peel is just going to allow your skin to be extra glassy, dewy, and glowing for the day. So say, for example, you have an event like Mother's Day, you want to just show up as your most beautiful, radiant self. These are the days when I recommend that you start with your face wash, with your cleanser, follow that up with the scrub. And I have two really great scrubs on my skin shop to exfoliate any dead skin off. If you have a blemish or maybe even a tenant keratosis, like a red rough raised precancerous spot, you know, exfoliating can be helpful for those too. And we do sometimes experience precancerous lesions as we age, always get those checked out by your physician, but a scrub is just going to get rid of dead, dry skin and reduce that stratum corneum, which is the superficial layer of your skin. That's what we see. And when the skin feels rough and dry and sensitive, it's usually because you're not rinsing your cleanse off proper, your cleanser off properly, and maybe you're not exfoliating enough. So I do recommend doing your face wash and your exfoliation with the scrub to the face, neck, and chest area. And then follow that up with an application of your eye cream. I have about four different lovely eye creams to choose from on my skin shop. And then do the active peels kit system. So basically what this active peel kit is, is it has two little towelettes. There's a step one, which is the peel itself. And a step two, which is the neutralizing and moisturizing step of the peel. And I actually teach an entire tutorial on things like the three different peels that I offer from medium or sorry, mild, medium to strongest. There's a whole tutorial on skin cycling with peels and retinols and serums. So join my seasonal skin tutorials happening now. We're just about to get started on round two of this season. So take advantage of early bird pricing. Register now. This is where you're going to get access to these live tutorials. But I would recommend doing your cleanser scrub and then the active peel system this AM to just get your skin glassy, glowing, smoother looking, and a little bit more radiant. Then get out of the tub. You already have your eye cream on. You just did the peel. Follow that up with your moisturizer. And using sort of like a lighter moisturizer in the AM is a really great tip. And then having a richer moisturizer in the PM, especially if you're doing things like dermal rolling and you're using retinols, you are going to want to have a little bit of a heavier moisturizer on hand. Follow that up after your moisturizer with your sunscreen. And... 
with the body on this special day, I could even suggest that you apply a body peel. And yes, you'll have a little bit of oil on your body from the oil that you might have put in your bath. You did a quick rinse off in the shower. Follow that up with the Dermalac body peel. This is great. This is going to help to transform. You could even do this the night before, actually. It's going to help transform that dry, kind of parched skin, especially on the bottoms of the legs and the ankles, where as we age, we can get a little bit more roughness there. And it's just going to make your whole skin on your body just feel fantastic. And it comes in a huge bottle, really lovely. That lactic acid and the moisturizers in there are just going to reveal more hydrated skin on your body. And yes, it is essentially a body peel, which is great. Uh, what a really good peel is going to do is help to, with chemicals and good chemicals, reduce that top layer of the stratum corneum and then hydrate. That's why your skin feels silky smooth after you use that Dermalac product. If you say, for example, have the bright and clear solution, it also has some lactic acid. You use that right after cleansing. You cleanse, then you do your eye cream, the bright and clear solution, your moisturizer and sunscreen. But the bottle is so big, there's so much in it that I actually also like to put that bright and clear solution that you use kind of like a toner, but it's actually more of a brightening solution and it exfoliates too. You could use that one on the body as well. Do care for your face and your body. And also let's talk about the hair. What are you gonna do to get your hair extra on point? You're gonna wash it. You might wash it the day before, you might wash it the day of, depending on where you are in your hair wash cycle. But when we have fresh, clean hair, we just feel better. We feel better and more put together when our skin is clean and when our hair is also clean. And we've picked out a, a cute little outfit. So I'm gonna give some tips on that too. But when you're washing your hair, obviously do your shampoo, get that shampoo on the roots itself, and then rinse that out. You sometimes do a double shampoo and really agitate the scalp and make sure that the scalp is also well exfoliated. You've gotten rid of any buildup on your scalp, rinse it thoroughly, and then do your conditioner. Maybe leave that on for a few moments in the shower while you're maybe shaving your legs or something like that. Rinse it out and then get straight into your skincare and your styling products if you're styling your hair that day on Mother's Day. Add a little extra curl into your hair. Add a little extra time with blow drying to get it extra smooth and styled, maybe with a round brush. And with your makeup, you don't have to go overboard on you know, getting too overdone or extravagant or anything like that, but just simply do your, your typical AM skincare and makeup routine, maybe with a little bit, a little bit more blush, a little bit more emphasis on eyeliner, a little bit more emphasis on eyeshadow and lip liner and gloss. And of course, in my lesson one, in my tutorials, I highlight a beautiful mature makeup look. This is the look that I have right now. And I find that these colors and these palettes work really well for a lot of skin types and also for many different age groups. So with the makeup, you could either use a tinted sunscreen on a special day. I have some great tinted sunscreen options or follow through with your 20% zinc sunscreen if your main concern is pigmentation. But on special days, sometimes using that tinted primer sunscreen is just going to make your skin look a little bit more flawless and photo ready, especially after just having done your scrub and that active peel in the AM. Using a primer sunscreen with a little tint to it is going to help to fill in fine lines, wrinkles, and also pores, and then allow your makeup to settle in a little bit better. So these Mother's Day tips are really just event tips in general. We are getting into wedding season and more family reunions and get togethers because the weather is getting a little bit more beautiful outside. So these are tips that you can actually take into any type of event and special day to look your best. But I do love to recommend on a special day when you're maybe having more photos taken, using a tinted primer sunscreen like the ones that I offer on my skin shop as well. Some of them are gonna give more of a matte look, which actually can look quite good when you're getting your photos taken, or you might still want that dewy look. So if you have any questions, 
around which products could be most helpful for you, send me an email, info at theschoolofradiance.com. Happy to help you out. Join my tutorials or book a one-on-one -on -one for the customized guidance. But if, if it's just a quick question about, you know, which sunscreen is going to give you a matte look or a dewy look, I am more than happy to help you out and answer that. So the key here on this very special day for you is relaxation and calmness. Have your loved one get the kids up, get the kids ready, cook the breakfast, and you can actually set this up the day before. Say, it's Mother's Day. I'm just going to relax on this day. If you have to actually make that boundary and put that forward that that's what your wishes are, or maybe your partner is just naturally going to take the lead, which is a really great quality to have, that leadership role to treat you extra special on this day. And if you are not yet a mother, I am not yet a mother, then this is a great opportunity to show up early at your, your mother's house and just do something extra special, such as going to her favorite cafe, picking up a special treat that she likes, maybe a special cake, and really just spend time with your loved ones. That's what these special days are all about. It's not about buying a fancy gift or these every holiday these days seems to be about driving consumerism when i would say the best gift that you can really give is actually time or treating your mother and loved ones to things that they are you already know that they like like different products which i'm going to be talking about and highlighting a little bit later here let me know any other questions that are coming up uh, these tips are again very relevant to any type of special day or special event but really i want to encourage you to take this time for yourself in regards to self-care and setting your day up for success what this is doing enjoying a little bit of coffee or hot water and lemon or tea in bed reading your book journaling praying being in meditation being grateful for the day then getting into the bath and doing your self-care routine this is actually going to set you up for success for the day by also helping you regulate your nervous system. Being in the energies and vibrations and emotions of love, joy, and peace are certainly going to help slow your aging process. The next highest emotion to that and frequency is enlightenment, but I don't know about you. I'm not quite there yet, <laughs> but the peace, love, and joy, those hippies had it right. These are really beautiful emotions to just help you step into a more beautiful, radiant energy for the day. You're going to enjoy your day more, and also you're going to in love. You're going to enjoy your engagements a little bit more with loved ones when you start your day off with these types of rituals but also emotional intentions and also just really getting the habit of not only on special days but actually doing this on every day personally i really love to wake up and have a bath in the am that's my time it's my quiet time i am not one of those individuals who just washes my face over the sink I do like to have a rinse after I've slept. I like to be fresh for the day and I actually do bathe or shower twice a day, once in the AM and once in the PM. Cleanliness is next to godliness and actually cleansing your skin on your body, not with like soap and scrubbing vigorously, but just a rinse. It's actually really helpful to get off any dirt and debris, uh, any potential mold or other heavy metals in the air off of your skin because when you have different particulates resting on the skin, on your body and on your face, even on your scalp, what this is going to do, and you're not washing enough, is it's going to signal your keratinocyte stem cells in your skin to actually undergo something called apoptosis and die faster. We don't want that. We don't want our skin to die faster, but we do want to exfoliate and speed up that cell cycle. So that's why rinsing and cleansing is more important than you probably might realize. And if you are struggling with dry or sensitive or irritated skin, not cleansing and not exfoliating and not using the right moisturizer to suit your specific needs and protect it from the sun, if you're not doing any one of those four things, I think we've identified the root cause of your skin irritation and inflammation and dryness. And I do find that oil cleansing and heavily based oil products also contribute to this as well. 
I've worked with thousands of individuals and clients, patients over the years, and those that do suffer from dry, red, irritated skin, they're typically using oil cleansers, micellular waters, and they're not actually proper cleansing, properly cleansing and rinsing off their skin in the AM or PM, or they're really only cleansing once, and that would be in the PM. You really do want to make sure you're cleansing in the AM and the PM, because after cleansing, guess what? When the skin is clean, your moisturizers, your antioxidant serums, your eye cream are going to be able to be better absorbed and not kind of trap further debris from the air that's going to lead to more skin dullness and dryness, essentially. Again, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Hello, Katie. Great to have you here. This is a really special day, Mother's Day. So because it's a very special day, I am sharing with you all who are here live for this recording, a very special link for a Mother's Day promotion. If you click the link that's in the chat and also in the replay, the description of this episode, you're going to see a Mother's Day promotion on a number of select hair care products. And these products, once they're gone, they're gone. So definitely order soon. They're safe, for example, beautiful moisturizing shampoo, some styling products, some air foam. If you like a little bit of root lift, this is a really great option that's kind of like a mousse, but it's a cleaner mousse that isn't aerosolized. It's actually a foaming pump instead. There's color care conditioner, leave-in hydration hairspray, Moroccan hair oil, a calming scalp elixir if you do have irritation to the scalp, calming conditioner, and also a curl enhancer cream. So there's lots of different options for you to choose from. And the Mother's Day Hair is the promo code to use. Again, that promo code is Mother's Day Hair. And that's going to give you 15% off of orders over $250. And you're going to receive free shipping. So again, that code is Mother's Day Hair. Using this very special link and collection on a couple of key products that I also just mentioned here on this recording. And yes, this promotion can be combined with other products such as your skincare, your dermal rolling supplies and makeup, but the sale that 15% off only applies to the specific products that are part of this Mother's Day hair promotion. And let me know if you have any questions about that, but it's pretty straightforward. Just apply that code at checkout and then that 15% off is going to be applied to those specific products. So let me know when you've gotten that link and you have it up in your browser and let me know any questions that you have. So this is a, a lovely way to give back this Mother's Day and treat you all. I happen to know that for my dear mother, she really loves the hair styling products. So the Curl Enhancer Cream, as well as the air foam. And again, once things are sold out in the sale, they're sold out. And I really love these products as well. All right, perfect. So thank you so much for joining this Mother's Day special recording on really helping you set yourself up for success, for looking your best, setting the stage for the day. And I know that one of the things that those of you who are mothers are going to really be delighted by is seeing your loved ones, seeing how well your loved ones are doing, seeing how they're maturing, seeing your kids, seeing your grandkids and all of that. And really just spending time together is so key. You know, we only have so much time with one another and our families and our mothers and grandmothers. So really honor this time. This is beautiful time. And then of course we have our fathers as well. And, you know, there's a little bit of a different angle for treating the fathers on father's day, but for the moms, honestly, women just give so much to care for and nurture and love the family and provide in very specific ways, especially from the nurturing perspective. But we have to make sure that we are taking that extra time as women 
to care for ourselves. Nobody is going to care for you except yourself. Nobody can really do your skincare and shave your legs and apply your body peel and wash your hair for you, you know, unless you're going to a salon and getting blowouts all the time or you're having a professional makeup artist. Take the time and know that you are worth it. And using great products, maybe doing some rejuvenation, doing your makeup, putting on a cute outfit, it's going to help you feel your best. And I actually learned this from my mother. She had been a night nurse for decades and really gave up a lot so that my sister and I could get an excellent education. And I'm very grateful for that. And I saw just how hard my mother did work while I was growing up. And uh, just my mother is a saint and her mother was also a saint. Uh, She is quite the prayer warrior, actually really beautiful mother. Mom, you have a beautiful mother and just thrilled to have that in my, in my lineage also. And then for the rest of the day, you know, you got to put some clothes on. So what are you going to wear? If you're looking for a tip for an outfit idea for Mother's Day, I would go with a really cute skirt set. I'm a huge fan of tweed or like a tweed lace skirt set. Rebecca Taylor actually makes some of my favorite pieces for skirt sets. There's lots of other options as well for skirt sets, but there's nothing more put together than a beautiful blazer top with a beautiful shirt underneath and a gorgeous skirt that sits at the knee, maybe just below the knee, and some classic flats and white shoes in the spring and more whites in general are just such a beautiful, timeless and elegant look. And I do like solid colors over patterns. I just find that they look a little bit more elevated and a little bit more elegant as well. So sticking, I I love monochromatic outfits as well. So all white, all cream, all sort of like a pastel blue or pink or another color that might be really well suited for your skin tone. And uh, this is where color blocking comes into play. But how we style ourselves with our outfits is really key. So cute skirt set or put on a beautiful dress. Actually, I find skirt sets and dresses really easy to use because it doesn't take a lot of brain power to match and coordinate. They're actually already a matched and coordinated type of thing. Go for like a slide type of shoe in the spring, something that's going to be comfortable, especially if you're walking on lawns and walking a lot and standing a lot. That's a pretty classic look and good for your back. You don't have to always wear heels, but a cute little skirt set. And if you are going out with your loved ones, little cute uh, event specific type of celebratory look is to add a little, a little fastener onto your head as well. A little headpiece or some type of, you know, little tiara. I saw a little girl wearing a cute tiara and the mothers and the grandmothers were all wearing cute little, um, very old world type of hair fasteners. It's just, I thought it looked darling. So here, wishing you all the best this Mother's Day. Have a beautiful day. Rest, recharge, do things that bring you joy, that you love. And if you need to drop some hints on some gifts that you would like, everything that's included in the Mother's Day promotion for hair care and hairstyling products is great. And again, that promo code to use with that link there is Mother's Day Hair for 15% off on your total cart order of $250 or more. And it's going to be 15% off those specific products with free shipping. Email me if you have any questions, info at theschoolofradiance.com. Thanks for joining. Thanks for your questions and have a beautiful, happy Mother's Day, everyone.